Hello, this is Alan Nadichu, and we're going to go over how to create a signature in Outlook 2011 for Mac. First of all, it's best to start a new mail message. I'm going to go ahead and discard this. Start a new email message. Click in your body. Then go to Signatures. If you don't have any signatures listed, you would then click Edit Signatures. To start a new signature, just hit the plus sign and then fill in your information in the signature box. You could even do things like change the font, change the color, change the font size, but it's not really easy to find. To change the font, color, size, type, highlight the font that you want to change, then go to Format, Font, Choose. You do have your defaults here. But I'm going to go down to Choose. I'm going to select Century Gothic from here. You see how it automatically changes. I'm going to make it bold italic. And I'm just going to kick this up a notch to about 18. I don't like this color red. So I'm going to click this green square. Doesn't make quite sense, I know, but click on the green square. Then you can select a different color. I'm going to stick with black. Now that we've created our signature, we could give it a name. If you already have signatures, you might want to go through them to make sure that they say madisoncollege.edu and they make reference to our new street address. Now I've been through this earlier, so I believe all my signatures are correct. When you're tired of a signature and you want to get rid of it, hit the minus sign after highlighting it. I have boring signature highlighted. Hit the minus sign. It asks if I want to delete it. I say yes, delete, and it's gone. I'm going to close out the fonts box. I'm going to close out the signatures box. Type in something real fast. Then I'm going to put my signature in here. I just go to signatures, select my signature, and there it is. I'm going to undo that with a keyboard shortcut of Command Z. I'm going to go back to Signatures and Edit Signatures. Right now, I have to go up and manually select what signature I want to use. I can select a default signature so that every time I start an email message, it will pop up in that email. To do that, go back to Edit Your Signatures. And when you get to the signatures box in the lower right hand corner, select default signatures. My account is Madison.